So the second talk of this session is on linear repairing codes and side channel attacks from Hervé Chaban, Oussem Maghrebi and Emmanuel Proof. And uh, Emmanuel will give the talk. Thank you for the introduction. Um, this is a joint work with uh, Hervé Chaban from IDEMIA, Oussem Maghrebi from UL and, uh, and myself from, uh, from NC. As you all know, the, the, one of the main techniques to secure implementations against side channel attacks is, to, is, is based on, the, on secret sharing. I'm not going to enter into the details of, uh, of uh, all the works which have been dedicated to this subject, but the first idea, we can say that the first ideas have been introduced in 1999 by two papers independently, one by Gouba and Patarin, and the second one by Shari, Joutlara, and Roadje. And the core idea is that if, for instance, you share a one bit into DA plus one shares, X0, X1, and XG, and you assume that the other three has a noisy an independent noisy observation of each of those shares, then the number of observations the, adv the adversary needs to distinguish distribution of the, of the, of the observations, uh, knowing that this is a sharing of zero, uh, and uh, the distribution of the observations, knowing that the sharing is one, increases exponentially with G, the base of the exponentiation will, uh, being the noise standard deviation. What is good with, uh, with sharing uh, and, and masking, uh, is that we have a theory available to prove the security in quite relatively some models. And also we, we have tools, uh, thanks to, uh, uh, for instance, Bart Belay, Dupressoir, Fouk, Grégoire and Srub, we have tools to develop the, and to, to, to prove the, the, the schemes and uh, to automatize the, the proofs till, till some, uh, some, uh, some security orders. Okay, when you, are, when you want to apply secret sharing to secure an implementation, you have two, typically you have two uh, issues to deal with. The first one is how to share sensitive data. And the second one is, after uh, you have made a choice for, this, for the sharing, is how to securely process on shared data. The first issue is uh, related, for instance, to Shamir scheme, which has been pro pro proposed in 1979. Uh, it is also uh, related to the design of error correcting codes with large dual distance, where, which has been proved by Massey in 1993. The second issue uh, is related, for instance, to secure multiple com multi-party computation, circuit processing in presence of leakage, efficient polynomial, etc. In this talk, I'm not going to, to focus on the second issue. I, I'm, I'm, I will uh, particular speak, uh, in particular, I will speak about the first one. Okay, let us consider the, the, the circuit sharing scheme proposed by Shamir in 79. Uh, in, this, in this sharing, we have two parameters, the number of shares N and the security order D. And uh, essentially, this sharing consists in generating a, a, random, generate, a random polynomial of degree D, and uh, such that the constant term is in this uh, polynomial. Hmm? No? Okay. This, content, this constant term is in the polynomial is Z, and uh, all the other coefficients are chosen at random in the base field. Okay, if you want to, to define the shares from uh, this random polynomial, it's very easy. You have to, to, to select uh, uh, n public points alpha i, uh, which are distinct, and you will define each share, for instance, z i, as an evaluation of the random polynomial in this uh, public point alpha i. Okay, once you have the sharing, how to reconstruct z? It's, uh, it's simple, it's a simple uh, Lagrange interpolation formula. You choose uh, a subset of d plus one shares. Uh, you don't need all the all the n shares to do that. You just need uh, d plus one d plus one of them of them, and then you you perform the interpolation formula. Uh, so the formula which gives z, uh, where the, the the beta i uh, the coefficient beta i in the formula are uh, extracted from the public points alpha i uh, by uh, by the the formula above. Okay. Uh, in, this in our paper, we wanted to address two questions related to uh, this, uh, this sharing in the context of side channel attacks. The first one is, does the choice of the public points impact the security of the secret Shamir sharing scheme in the context of side channel analysis? And the second question we wanted to address is, in a side channel analysis context, what is the optimal number of shares to observe if we want to recover Z as, if as fast as possible? Actually, the first question, the first, the first uh, question, uh, what we can say about is that 
if we look at the interpolation formula, uh, it seems that there is no influence on the effectiveness of uh, Lagrange reconstruction. Of the uh, of, uh, Lagrange reconstruction, so so the choice of the public points has no influence on the on the interpolation formula, but it has been observed in uh, in previous papers that the mutual information between uh, some d plus one tuple of shares z i and z seems to depend on the choice of the public points. Okay, is there an explanation for for, for that? Related to the second the second question, we could say that since the knowledge of of only d plus one shares is sufficient to recover z, then it could be, it could, it could be natural that the, the, the optimal number is exactly d plus one. For sure, you, 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 you know that you cannot reconstruct z from less, strictly less than d plus one. You need only d plus one to reconstruct z, so we could assume that this is the optimal choice. And this is something we are going to discuss. Uh, okay, before, before uh, entering uh, into, uh, into some explanations, into formal explanations, let us consider uh, uh, some examples, some experiments. Here, uh, I am plotting for two different uh, uh, choice of public points, on the left and on the right. Uh, I am plotting the minimal number of uh, observations uh, of, a tup of a tuple of shares I need to recover, uh, to recover the secret. Uh, for, uh, for some choice of, uh, of the triplet and uh, for an increasing number of, uh, of uh, for an increasing amount of noise. So in this case, we have chosen a, cho uh, um, a secret sharing with uh, five shares and a random degree two polynomial, which means that we need at least, for sure, three to observe. We need to observe at least three shares to reveal that, to recover information on that. Okay, so I tested many combinations of shares, many, uh, many observations, and what we, can, what we can see first is that the efficiency of the template attacks on the, on the right seems to be better than the efficiency of the attacks on the, on the left, which means that, from a security point of view, the choice of the public points on the left is better. It seems to offer more, uh, more resistance uh, with respect to template attacks. Okay, this is the first observation. And the second observation we can have is that it seems that the choice of the triplet, uh, of the shares uh, we have to, we, we, we observe uh, to, to build the attack, seems to have an impact also on the efficiency of the attacks. Meaning that the, all the triplets are not equivalent with respect to the efficiency of the template attacks which is performed to recover Z. Okay, this is the first, this is, this is, uh, yeah, this is the uh, second observation. And if we look at that, we could, we could also uh, wonder if, okay, here I, I am only considering three shares, and so I am only considering uh, template attacks where I'm observing three shares to reveal that, but is there uh, some amount of, uh, amount of noise for which it will be better to observe four shares? For sure, I don't need, from a theoretical point of view, I don't need, three share, uh, I don't need four shares. I have uh, enough information with three, but from, uh, an attack uh, efficiency uh, perspective, is it better? Is, are there some cases where four shares must be observed to, to get uh, uh, an attack improvement? Okay, it was the purpose of, the, of this second experiment. In this second experiment, we tested all the combinations, uh, all the combinations of shares which can, which can be observed. And especially, we selected some, some uh, four tuples on, of, uh, of shares, and we performed an attack with four tuples instead of, of, uh, of three. And what we can observe is that, indeed, for some amount of noise, it is better to observe strictly more than three shares. OK. Why? What is the reason behind that? So let us just sum up the, the, the observations. The first observation is that the choice of the public points impact the security, the, the attack efficiency, and also the security. The second observation is that for some signal-to-noise ratio, it is better to target strictly more than the sufficient number of shares needed to recover Z. The rest of this talk is to explain this phenomenon and to, to see why uh, this happens with secret Shamir, with uh, Shamir secret sharing. Okay, in fact, the main point is that we have to change the question. The, que the question is not how many shares do I need to reveal Z, but how much information do I need to reveal Z when the sharing is done with Shamir scheme. 
And actually, uh, there, there, have been, uh, there have been a very interesting uh, publication by Gorzwani and Witters recently. Who, and the authors show in this publication that the number of bits, so the amount of information, needed to recover Z, for instance, li living, for instance, in a field of, uh, with cardinality uh, 2 to the M, from its sharing into N shares with a random degree D uh, polynomial, can be much lower than d plus 1 times m bits. Just to recall, if I'm using exactly Lagrange interpolation formula, then I need exactly d plus 1 times m bits. Of course, because I need to observe d plus 1 shares, each share being uh, of size m. OK. And if we look at the paper of uh, Grosswani and Witters, they, they give some examples, they, they give some constrictions, and for instance, this, this shows that if you are share, sharing uh, a secret into fifth, fifth, uh, 14, uh, 14 shares with a uh, random, degree, uh, random polynomial of degree 9, then Z can be recovered with only 64 bits of information on the, on the shares instead of, four, uh, instead of 80 bits. Okay. Um, actually, uh, if you, we look at uh, so the, the theory behind, uh, behind the, the, the work of, uh, of uh, Grosswani and Witters is the theory of linear exact repairing scheme. So this is a picture in, a, in order to, to, to illustrate uh, this, uh, the impact of this, uh, of this uh, of the schemes. So on the, on, the, on the left side, we have a, a view of uh, Shamir secret sharing uh, from, uh, from the coding theory point of view. And on the right side, we have a view of, uh, sh of the application of Shamir uh, scheme uh, in the, from the perspective of side channel attack. So in the classical approach, if we have something shared into five shares with a random degree two polynomials, then on the left, we see that we need only three to observe only three shares to rebuild, uh, to rebuild A. Okay? And if you look at uh, the, 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 um, the translation of that in the side channel world, we see that we have to observe only three shares to recover A if we, if we are basing our attack on, the interpolation of, of, uh, in, uh, on Lagrange interpolation formula. With linear repairing, uh, repairing scheme, in fact, we are no longer considering the shares in the, in the big field. We are, we are going to consider the coordinates of the shares into the subfield representation. Okay, and if we look at uh, the, 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 um, the example given by, by Grosswani and Wouters in their paper, we see that indeed we can recover, we can recover Z. So, uh, find, uh, we can recover the shared data by observing five coordinates of the shares. Okay? After the splitting into the subfield, your five shares give 10 coordinates. And if you are observing only five among them, then you are able, you have a formula to rebuild uh, your, uh, your shared data. And you have uh, the translation of that in the, in the side channel world. What does it mean? It means that, for instance, in this, uh, um, in, uh, in this example, it's better, from an information point of view, it's better to observe four shares and to get from these four shares five coordinates of size m over 2 instead of considering three shares of size m. OK. Let us. Let us uh, see a little bit the details of uh, the, the, nice, uh, the nice idea behind, uh, behind the, the proposal by Gorozwani and, uh, and, uh, and Wouters. So let us start with the classical um, Lagrange interpolation formula. So in order to rebuild Z, you use the Lagrange coefficients, which are public. You use uh, some of the shares. Here I am taking all the shares. And you process the formula, which is written in the slide. OK. Of course. You can either compute this formula directly, or you can split this processing into subfields. Essentially, it means, okay, this is, yeah, this is a quite, looks quite complex formula, but this is just to say, instead of processing Lagrange interpolation into the big field, I am processing Lagrange interpolation into 
each subfield uh, of the decomposition. So I am rebuilding each coordinate of the share of the of the of the shared data uh, one after another. Okay. And the project, je push the, the decomposition into the subfield essentially is given by those, proje those, pro those projections, okay, which are uh, public, which can be uh, public uh, coefficients, which just say that this is uh, the first coordinate, mu1 for the first coordinate, mu2 for the second coordinate, etc., etc. Okay, of course, if I am just doing that, the, uh, the amount of information needed on the left and on the right is exactly the same, okay, for sure. The main idea uh, in uh, Guru Zwani Witter's uh, paper is to change the, protection, the, the, pro, the projections, so essentially to change those coefficients for each coordinate, and instead of interpolating the, the random polynomial, polynomial P, uh, Px, so in order to recover Z, instead of interpolating this polynomial, they propose to interpolate for each coordinate the product of two polynomials, the one you want to interpolate, meaning p, p of x, and a, a quite well-chosen one, another one, which is pg. And this, this polynomial will be the same whatever the random polynomial. It will be an equivalent of the projection coefficient mu i. So essentially, what does it mean? It means that we are going to replace this processing by this one. We are just replacing the, the coefficients mu i by the evaluation of some well-chosen uh, polynomials into the public points. And so, if we do that, for sure, uh, because of the property of Lagrange interpolation, each time we are not recovering one coordinate of z, but one coordinate of z times the, uh, the constant term into in, uh, in the polynomial uh, P1 or P2 or P3, uh, depending on the coordinate. This is, this is the core idea, this is uh, the, the, the main idea in, uh, in Gorozwani with Wouter's paper. And of course, it, uh, it, if, it implies at least one, one necessary condition, and which is that the, the, the family of, uh, of constant terms must span a vector space of dimension t. This is needed in order to remove uh, those, constant, those constant terms when uh, we are going to recombine the, the, the coordinates to rebuild that. Great. Just for an illustration, let us, and to, to understand why it, it will lead to, to improve the efficiency of, uh, of, uh, of the reconstruction in terms of uh, information, let us consider this example. In this example, we see that the evaluations of, we, we, we choose uh, two polynomials, meaning that we are splitting, we are uh, decomposing the processing into two subfields, and we see that we can choose some, some polynomials so that the evaluation of the first one is zero at least for the, for the two uh, first public points. For the second polynomial, it is zero for two other public points. And for some other public points, we can obtain the evaluation of the, first, of the second one as a linear, um, as a linear um, uh, um, transformation of the first one. What does it mean? It means that the, the, the total number of bits required to apply the processing uh, I showed you in uh, in previous slide is, the, you, for, for this processing, you don't need this because it is zero. It is a zero coordinate. You don't need this. You don't need this. This one also you don't need, et cetera, et cetera. For the, for the coefficients which are linearly dependent, you just need one of them. So, so at the end, of course, you need to observe almost all the shares, but for all the shares, you need to recover not the full bits, but only part of them. And this, this gives the 64 bits uh, for, the, for the construction in the, in the example by, uh, by Grossmanni and Witters. And I recall that if you, use, if you are using Lagrange interpolation formula, then you need exactly 80 bits. Okay? So, if we come back to, to our uh, experiment, then we have a theoretical explanation. The full knowledge of, no, of three shares is indeed enough to rebuild Z, but in practice, some four tuple of shares leads to recover Z more efficiently than we've 
recherche. Why? Because indeed, we need to recover less bit of information on each of those shares. We don't need to recover them fully. We just need to recover some bit of information. So for some amount of noise, the information you are going to, to, to win like that will be better than the, the noise in the signal. OK. I will not have time to discuss, uh, to discuss how we can apply this to, to have, a, uh, an, efficient uh, to have an efficient uh, uh, multiplication over uh, data shared with Shamir scheme. But essentially, the idea is quite simple. It's just to say that when you are representing uh, uh, Shamir, uh, when you are representing the shares of, uh, of a data, you don't need to store the shares corresponding to zero coordinates, to zero projections. So, for sure, at least you are going to win this in, in memory for the representation. And, and in fact, we show in the paper that we, you, you can use this property to improve the, the, the multiplication uh, over, uh, over, um, over data uh, shared with uh, Shamir scheme. Okay, very quickly, uh, our conclusions. Shamir's sharing uh, scheme is interesting to get implementation secure against higher order such an attacks in the presence of glitches. Previous papers have already shown that. Because of the algebraic complexity of the sharing, polynomial interpolation, polynomial evaluation, the relation between the shares and the shared datum is difficult to analyze. And it was the purpose of, uh, of this paper to, to, to uh, try to understand what is the relation between the leakage and the, and the algebraic complexity uh, of the sharing. Uh, we confirmed in the paper previous observations and exhibited new ones related to the difference with Boolean sharing. The choice of the public points matters from a security point of view. It is proved. It can be sound to target more shares than strictly necessary. This is new. This is a new observation. It takes this more efficient reconstruction from uh, scheme, f f uh, more, more efficient interpolation form formula than Lagrange interpolation formula, which is quite uh, important result. It's not our result. It's a paper by Grosswani and Witters, but it gives a lot of. Uh, it has a lot of, of impact. Um, Okay, we also show how to apply this, to use this to, to get uh, efficient uh, multiplication. And um, okay, if you have uh, questions and comments, they are welcome, even if <laughs> I took some, some time. We have uh, time for one quick question. I, I do have one quick question. Um, so, if you, if you apply your method, you need less traces to recover um, the, 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 the secret, but you need to target more shares. Mm. So, you will need to target more interest points on your trace. Mm. So, do you think that is easier than having more traces to, to lead the attack? Or? It depends on yeah. It depends on the on the on the quality of the observation. If you if you are quite confident on the on the synchronization, you yeah. So I would say that uh, you can identify the, the place where the shares are manipulating, and so yeah. I think there are situations where it can be better. If you have a lot of desynchronization, then maybe it's better to to decrease the number of shares you have to observe. Okay. Thank you. Let's thank the speaker again, please.